Hey, what's going on everyone, especially my ASG fam. We have come to the end of the Dragon Ball hairstyle series and it has been a great journey with all of you. And if you are a Dragon Ball fan out there that has been watching my videos consistently and commenting on my videos, I'd like to thank you all so much and you know who you are. I am really appreciative of every single subscriber that I have got from this hairstyle series. I appreciate every single one of you discussing and expressing how much you enjoy this whole series as well. So today we will be talking about the last character that I would promise to be talking about which is Broly. To be honest, Broly is actually my favorite character since I was a kid. When I was about 9 or 10, I was exposed to Broly who is the legendary Super Saiyan and back then I even tried to copy his style. It was really an amazing journey back then. I always remember Broly being the most muscular and strongest Super Saiyan around because he's the legendary Super Saiyan. Let's talk about Broly's hairstyle from the start. Broly was introduced in Dragon Ball Z in the movie The Legendary Super Saiyan. And honestly, at that point of time, he was actually considered non-canon. But we all love him the way he is and he was so much more badass and he's just pure evil in that movie. So right now, you can see that Broly in his base form, he has pretty longish hair. So his official hairstyle name would be called the mullet and he has actually a center part at the front of his hair. So the length for a mullet at the back is about 4 to 6 inches long because it will have to actually touch around the shoulders. And for his top part of his hair, I would say it's about 4 to 5 inches as well. And of course, when Broly first became a Super Saiyan, we may actually get a little bit confused with the current Super Saiyan Blue because when Broly first transformed into a Super Saiyan, his hair was blue in color. The Broly had got key last time, it has actually been said that his power was greatly suppressed because his father, Pelagus, was actually constraining his power. That is why he didn't have the natural blonde hair that we see in the normal Super Saiyan. However, in Broly, the second coming, we saw Broly with blonde hair, which is actually his full power as a normal Super Saiyan, so he doesn't have any constraints at that time. Then now we go to the best part, which is legendary Super Saiyan Broly. So Broly as a legendary Super Saiyan is just terrifying. Even Piccolo thought he was a monster and he replied that he's a devil. Broly is not a monster. Broly is... Duh. A genuine demon? A true freak? The devil. So obviously with that terrifying power that he had, until everyone combined their powers to give to Goku in order to defeat Broly. Over here we can see that his whole head of hair has actually been spiked up, similar to Ultra Super Saiyan Trunks. And that is pretty insane because his hair is just crazy long and his color changed from bluish bright green in color. And honestly, having green hair is just crazy hard to pull off. But Broly looks pretty good in it because he has a good aesthetic and his eyes actually became completely blurred out. We don't even see his pupils anymore. So if I'm not wrong, people have been discussing about this in Dragon Ball Z where they said that Trunks Ultra Super Saiyan 4 is actually an inspiration for Broly and that is why we see so many similarities between Legendary Super Saiyan Broly and Ultra Super Saiyan Trunks. And right now, I would like to say that in the new Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, we see Broly having a new look. So Broly isn't as pure evil and terrifying like the Dragon Ball Z version of him. He is much more timid, so I guess it's because of the way he's been brought up and if I'm not wrong, he wasn't able to control his power that well and he just viewed everyone as a threat to him at that point of time. So now in Dragon Ball Super Broly, his hairstyle is a lot more messier as you can tell and I would say that the top part of his hair is about 4 to 5 inches long which is pretty uniform throughout the sides and back as well and there isn't much change for him when he becomes a Super Saiyan or Legendary Super Saiyan. To be honest, there isn't much to discuss about Broly's hairstyle and his hairstyle evolution because he doesn't really get a lot of screen time but I decided to put his collector into this series because he's my favorite collector when I was a kid. Let's talk about video games as well. I would like to actually discuss about this Broly which is Super Saiyan 3 Broly in Dragon Ball Raging Blast and Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. I remember that Broly is a big giant in that game and he has crazy 
long volume of hair. If you take a look over here, you can clearly see that even just the top part of his hair is already longer than his head. And given Broly's height, which is about 8 to 9 feet tall, his hair is definitely crazy long as well. However, his Super Saiyan 3 form doesn't have that classic blonde hair like what Goku and Gotenks have. His Super Saiyan 3 form is actually his legendary Super Saiyan green hair color. So I guess Broly is just crazy strong in that form but it's also non-canon because it's just in video games. I hope you all enjoyed this short video that I have made today. If there's any other discussion you want me to talk about other characters, let me know in the comment section down below. I really appreciate every single one of you all watching my video and I will continue to see you all soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more such content. Alright, see you all soon. Goodbye.